Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I will show you how to perform the SQL injection practically. So this is my SQL prompt and I have one table and that is employees. So I'm just writing one query over here that is select start from employees where employee number is equal to and I'm writing here that is M percent employee number. So what it will do? It will simply ask me to enter the value for the employee number. Now, if I know the number, for example, 7902, if I know the number, then it will definitely return me the data. But what if I don't know the number? For example, if I am writing here a number that is 1111. Now, I don't know the number and I want to get all the data. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible using the SQL injection. See here, if I am writing 11111, then it says that no rows is selected. Now I want to retrieve all the records from the table without knowing the number. So I'm just typing here that is 11111 or you can write 1 equal 1. So what is the meaning of 1 equal 1? 1 equal 1 means it's a true condition. Even you can write here that is 2 equal to 2 also. So it's a true condition. If you pass here true condition, then you will get all the records from the table. So this is known as a this particular portion is known as a SQL injection. Now I want to use the another table. For example, I have one table and that table is users. So I'm writing here that is a select star from users where username is equal to and that is M person username. Now here this username is character that is where care. So definitely I need to enclose it within single quotation mark. So how to deal with this single quotation mark? That is what I want to show you now here. So I'm writing select star from users where username equal to single quotation and you can provide the value. Now it is asking me enter the value for username. So I'm writing here the username that is for example para. But what if I don't know the username? So here suppose if my username is not known. For example if I'm writing here the username is that is Ganesha. So Ganesha username is not available in the table. So it will return me that is no rows selected. Now I want to retrieve all the data from the table even if I'm not knowing the username. So I'm just passing here that is Ganesha. Now you can close your single quotation. So this single quote was started and here I'm just closing this. Now here you can write the true condition that is or one equal one. Now no need to enclose here. Why? Because already enclosing single quotation is written in the query. So you can just write up to this only this particular portion that is the SQL injection. You can press enter and you will get all the data from the users table. See here there are five users and including password it returns me. So this particular portion is known as a SQL injection. You can use this kind of single quotation whenever you want to deal with the where care data type. Now, not only this, sometimes people say that, sir, I want to match for the username and password both. Is it possible? Yes, it is also possible. For example, let me write the query that is a select star from users where username is equal to M person username and password is equal to M person password. So now user will enter the two things that is the username and password. Now if you provide the correct username and password then it's fine but I don't know the actual username and password. For example I'm writing here the username that is for example Ganesha right. So username Ganesha is not available in the table and I'm writing the password for example God but here I'm providing the SQL injection that is God or and here you can pass that is 1 equal 1. No need to write here enclosing the single quotation mark because it is already enclosed over here. And why I need to enclose here? Because it was a started. So this is SQL injection and it will return me all the record from users table. See here. So it returns me all the record from users table. Even you can check here Ganesha is not available in a user and even code is not available in a password and still I'm able to access all the record from the users table. So this particular portion is known as a SQL injection.
not only this you can use the union to retrieve other data also for example let me write the same query and here in username i am providing that god and the password for example ganesha now i am writing here that is union and here you can just write union select t name comma null from tab so it will return all the tables from the dictionary tab and here i'm writing where one equal one again no need to enclose single quotation mark why because it is already enclosed over here in the query you can just press enter and you will get all the table list from the oracle see here there are 25 tables are created over here so this is the way you can do this this is known as a sql injection so even you can fire the union query and you can retrieve the data from the table also now not only this sometimes you want to check that how many columns are available in the table or in a query so what we can do we can simply write here that is a select star from employees where employee number is equal to ampersand employee number and now i'm just running the query now i don't know the number so i'm just writing here the number is for example that is eight so this is not available in the table but i'm writing here that is or one equal one and now i'm writing here order by so if i'm passing here order by five and if the query work fine it means that at least five columns are there so it is working fine now i am writing again and if i am writing here that the order by for example eight and if it working fine then you can say that there are eight columns at least available in the table now suppose if i am running the same query now suppose if i am running the same query and if i am passing nine and if returns me perfect output then you can say that there are nine columns but now if you run this and if you provide here the 10 then it will give you an error that the order by item must be the number of select list expression so it is proved that there are nine columns available in this particular table so this is also you can do using the sql injection so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day